Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're gonna to talk about factoring polynomials part two. In a previous video, I showed you how to factor polynomials where the leading coefficient was one. This time, I'm gonna show you what to do when the leading coefficient is not one. So let's check it out. So again, I'm gonna go through some just simple explanations on you know a question that says factor this polynomial. That's really what types of questions you're gonna see when it comes to factoring these. So let's get started. So you're going to use the same method on factoring these polynomials that you did before. It's called the factor sum method. You're going to take the number in front here, the leading coefficient, and you're going to multiply it by the last number. And so we're going to multiply these together, and then we're going to find the factors of that, and they still need to add up to this middle number. So it's a little bit trickier. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do factoring by grouping. So I'm going to break it down as much as I can. So three times a negative six is negative 18. I need the factors of negative 18 and I need them to add up to positive seven or the pair to add up to positive seven. So I have one and 18, I have two and nine and I have three and six. Those are the factors. Well, one and 18 are not gonna work. You can't really get those to add up to seven. Two and nine, if, well, if I were to do 9 minus 2, 9 minus 2 is 7, so that could work. Minus 2, positive 9. And that actually is the only one that's going to work. 3 and 6 don't help us out. So these are the two numbers that I need. Now, because our leading coefficient isn't 1, we can't just write our binomials. We have to do a couple of extra steps. And so what we're going to do is we're going to break apart our polynomial using these two numbers. And so I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. I'm going to say 3x squared. Instead of writing plus 7x, I'm going to write it as minus 2x plus 9x. And then minus 6. The reason I do that is because now I can use a thing called factoring by grouping. I'm going to basically split this up down the middle. And I'm going to factor each of these pairs of expressions or terms. So what I need to do now is, I'm going to change colors here. I need to find something that goes into both 3x squared and negative 2x, something they have in common. And really the only thing they have in common is an x. So I'm going to factor that out by dividing everything by x. So 3x squared divided by x, all I'm really doing is getting rid of one of the x's. So what's left is 3x. If I get rid of the, the x from negative 2x or divide it out, all I'm left with is negative 2. Okay, now I need to find something that goes into or divides into both 9x and negative 6. Well, negative 6 is just a number, so I can only use a number. And the number they have in common is a 3. I'm going to use a positive 3 here because it's going to work out a lot better. So if I take 9x and divide it by 3, I get left with 3x. If I take negative 6 and I divide it by 3, I get negative 2. And that's really important because what happens is, if you notice, both of these parentheses are the same. And that's what we want because that's one of our factors. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this over here. I know one of my factors is 3x minus 2. The other factor is what's on the outside of the parentheses. So I have an x over here and I have a positive 3 here. So that's going to be my other factor, x, positive 3. And they, these are my two factors. So it's again two binomials that look like the previous video we did, where it's like some x term and a number, some x term and a number. But you can see there's a lot more steps that are involved to getting there. So let's do another example to try it out again. OK. Factor this polynomial, 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. So first step, I'm going to go ahead and multiply my first number by my last number. And so two times three is six, okay? I need two numbers that are multiplied together to get six, but add to get positive five. That's always gonna be the first step. So let's look at the factors of six. One and six, and two and three, okay? Well, if I look at one and six, then I can't add those two together because one plus six is gonna be seven. 
and 6 minus 1 is going to get me, uh, 6 minus 1 will give me 5, but the problem is 6 times negative 1 is not positive 6, it's negative 6. So this doesn't work, which means 2 and 3 have to work. And if you look at it, positive 2, positive 3 are going to get me positive 5 when I add them together. So let's use these two numbers to split up our polynomial. I'm going to rewrite it a little bit. 2x squared, instead of plus 5x, I'm going to write it as plus 2x plus 3x. Plus 2x plus 3x and then plus 3. The reason I can do that is because 2x plus 3x is the same thing as 5x. So you're just writing it differently. It's the same value. I'm going to split it down the middle and I'm going to do factoring by grouping. So I need to find some value that can divide into both 2x squared and 2x. Unfortunately, they both have 2 in common and they both have an x in common. So I can divide those out. 2x squared divided by 2x is the 2 goes away, one of the x's goes away, so I'm just left with x. And then 2x divided by itself. Any number or any value divided by itself gets you 1 left over. It's important to know that it's not 0, it's 1 because you're dividing. And that's going to make a difference in your answer. So on the right side, I need to figure out what's going to divide into 3x and 3. Well, fortunately, they both have a 3 in there, so I can use that. And 3x divided by 3 is just getting rid of the 3, so it's just left with x. And then, like I said, any number or any value divided by itself, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And this works out really well because now the parentheses are the same. And that's always what you need because that's one of your factors. So let's go ahead and write that as one of our factors, x plus 1. The other factor is what's left on the outside of your parentheses. So the plus 3 then the 2x. Always write it left to right. So 2x and then plus 3. So these are my two factors of this polynomial. I've gone and factored it out. So as you can see, when you factor polynomials where the leading coefficient or the first number is bigger than 1, it becomes a trickier process. But there's really a couple of different steps you have to follow. Um, use the factor sum method, definitely. Break up your polynomial so you can do by grouping, and then find your factors. I hope this helps when you get to these types of questions. Make sure you follow us on social media, like, subscribe, and follow. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.